Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, what we will try to learn is, we will try to learn about the named roots. So what are these named roots? So for example, if you try to see here in the project, in the main.js, each one is having some path, some route and redirect to sim or some, some path slash post component, load the component, post component. So we have written like this. So instead of writing these are all the things, okay. So now when we want to mention this one, we, we are using some go to the path, some post slash something like this we are using, right? So instead of using this one, we can name each routing, okay? We can name each route and we can use that name in the routing, okay? How we can use this one? So for example, here you have a path, right? So I can write name is equal to, so I, can keep, I can keep the name post, okay? And for this children routes also we can keep, for example, for this ID, I can keep, I can keep the name something like single post. Okay, so these are the two names what I have keep, kept. Now what I will try to do is, so first we will go to the navigation. Okay, now if you go, if you try to load this uh, file, so no, no, nothing, not a problem, no, no problem will come. So post will load and show details will load, everything will load, it's not a problem. Now how can, uh, what is the use of keeping the name for each routing? So what is the use of this name, name and routes is, for example here, the navigation is there. So here in this navigation, what it is happening, the router link, it is going to slash post. Okay, the router link, it is going to slash post. So what I can do here, instead of two here, something like, like uh, keeping the name like that. So we can keep colon here and we can write the object. Okay, so I can write something like name, name, colon, go to the post, the name of the name. Okay, go to the post. So I can keep the name like this. And if I go here and if I if I open the project here and if I go okay if I if I go to the create post okay now if I refresh this one okay let me refresh the code and if I click on uh, post so I think some problem came let's try try to inspect the element we try to inspect the element it is saying that make sure post was accessed during the render okay fine let's see to name is post okay we need to keep a uh, single quotes here the name right it is the name right so it is thinking that the post component i need to do i need to load the post component is saying now if i i will go to here and i will try to refresh this one okay so so far it is good and here what i will try to do here i click on the post it is working fine it's not a problem then and also what i can do is so here instead of doing that one i can i can write instead of using this name and if i go to the post here in this actions, what I can do instead of writing to slash, post slash something like this, I can also mention object. The name is single post. Okay, the name we have mentioned is single post. Whatever the name we have mentioned, the name is single post. Here we have mentioned right in the main.js the single post. And now we need to mention the ID. Okay, the parameter we need to mention the parameter ID. So how can we mention the parameter here? So do if you want to mention the parameter here, how we can mention is so comma params we will be having an id params and here we need to mention the whatever the name we are using in the place of path here the same name we need to use it here params id colon and we know that what is id right post dot id so directly i can mention this one okay Your name is called single post now if i go here and if i try to check the output so post so if i refresh this one post okay so now we are able to get the same thing and if i click here I am able to say, I am able to show the data, okay. We can use the same thing, path and also we can use the name mode routes, okay. So then you can ask me what is the use of this name mode routes, okay. So the name mode routes for small projects is okay, for, for big projects, for large projects, the name mode routes will be major useful. Why, why is this major may heavily useful, uh, it will be very useful in the uh, big projects is, for example, here, if I try to change this post variable path, Okay, I, I want to change it to post. Tomorrow client asks to change the URL to post only. Now in the large projects, so wherever you are using the path here, so for example, in the navigation previously we used path to slash post, right? So we need to change it everywhere. So wherever we are using the to path slash post, we need to change it everywhere. Here also we need to change. Everywhere we need to change. So this would be a tedious job. Now if I change the route to post or somewhere, whatever the thing I, I used like this, so there is no need for me to change. So for example, instead of post, I can write something like blog also, not a problem. So everything will be changed. So why? Because the name will be same only. If I go here and if I try to see the output, okay, 
if i try to see the output see block came i, I am able to see the output so here i'm able to see the output so here back to post means then again the problem comes why because the post here we are using the path thing back to post we are using the path so for example if you go to that the post item so if you go to the post item there is a post item yeah here router link we are using what we are using to slash post now here the problem arises why because we changed the name to the block so what what is the uh, solution for this one is if you use the name routes then name is nothing but what we get the name will not change so name is equal post so now it will work for this scenario also it will work okay so now this one also it, it will work not a problem okay so this is how the name name routes will be very useful okay so we need to refresh i think I refresh so show details back to post so here i am able to see the details so this is how it is very useful okay so this is how we will be using the name routes and also for example you will be getting a doubt that if i want to pass the query parameters how can i pass so query parameters if you want to pass here you will be having another uh, another what i can say another option another property query and here you can pass something like sort colon ascending okay whatever the name you can if you want to pass you can pass so here if i want to check the output here so if i click here so you will be able to see this sort is equal to ascending okay now you, you will be able to uh, now you will get it out that how can i uh, how can i get those uh, query parameters values so uh, the same scenario what will happen is for example if i go here in the post item if you want to get the query parameters i, I you can what you can use so console.log you can use and this dot dollar route dot query you will be having in the query okay so in the param same thing like this dot dollar route dot query will give you the details now if i go here and if i console dot log and if i if i try to see in the console now if i try to see in the console okay so now if i click here props details we are able to get right so for example if i go to create post and if i come to post here property description other okay fine if I click here now I am able to get the object okay now if I click here again in the show details by this one I am able to not able to see one second so did I save the code so here we have used the sort option okay not a problem and let me refresh the code okay now if I try to get the values yeah I am able to get the values so now if i try to create post here view description of the runner but it's not defined so let me check once what is the problem you're getting description is accessed during render right so if you go here in the create post oh sorry we have written the spelling wrong here okay now it will be fine now if i go if i try to refresh this one create post yeah now it's working fine now i can go to the post here now if i click on like this so here i'm able to get the details here sort ascending i'm able to get the details okay so now when you when you are clicking like this you are not able to get the again the value sort ascending this one so what we need to do is we need the same option this dot dollar watch what are the concepts we have used in the single post for the routing thing we need to use this this dot dollar watch or watch routing thing we need to follow routing dot uh, query also we need to do the watching thing okay so this prop the uh, this query parameters will not be sent through the props why because the routing is not at all concerned with the query parameters so if you change the query parameters also the routing will not change so that is the reason we cannot say we cannot send it through the props the query parameters we need to use dollar watch at this dot dollar watch okay so this is how we will be using the named query parameters and uh, name named routes and also the query parameters and also how to access the query parameters through the vue.js routing okay i hope you understood the the name named routes and also the usefulness of the named routes how the named routes will be useful in the vue.js so not only in this one in any project so if you are having an angular project also we can we will be having the name option in the routing thing we can use this one okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you